Hello again traders, right, um, this cold is really knocking me sideways, um, plus I've been uh, struggling to make those videos, as I said, seven or eight uh, retakes over two days, drove me insane. So I need to uh, have another long break, long walk or whatever, but I wanted to uh, say, update on this Bollinger thing again, because it, notice it is all red. And it is all green for the, this is a 40 pip continuation move, by the way, 42 pips. And the green level down there that I targeted was, uh, as you can see, a daily low, an old daily low. And it smashed into it and smashed through it to the, what it looks like, the S2 pivot, I think now, or S3. Yeah, S3, it's a different colour, it's brown. But, um, you know, this is still screaming red now sell zone no pink no doubt whatsoever and that did start around about just just after the break through the s2 i think if memory serves me correct we weren't at s1 no that would have been hours and hours ago so the previous video we were here but this was still pink and then miraculously changed to red which i presume is the super super strong sell signals um but I don't know why. It, I mean, it just blew my mind that it 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 changed the moment I swapped uh, time frames. You know, that strikes me as though it might be a cash thing. Cash things are, you know, caches or whatever you want to call them, are, um, you know, a, a real bane of a trader's life with lagging indicators and things. You can't. I can't keep relying on switching time frames. Although I do a lot with all of my indicators to double check that they are telling me the truth. Uh, and as I'm testing this, it means I do it more. Um, but it wasn't right. It was not right at uh, at uh, the close of that 30 minute bar and then nine minutes into it to swap over. There was no reason for that, in my opinion, that I could see. Having said that, what it did do was ram home the importance of this. There is absolutely no weakness in any of these um, TMA slope bars. You know, we had the weakness, the one weak bar back there. Don't know what's going on. I've rebooted. Oh, there. One weak bar there. Odd that that green one wasn't the weak one on the TMA, but there, but it was on the RSI rather weird um but there again that's flat isn't it i suppose and the tma relies on um a, a slope which is another you know things that you if, if you didn't if i didn't make these videos i would never think of these uh situations and then think of the reasons that's that's so that's right up to the moment thought process on tma difference so stands the reason when we get these situations where they are they turn gray there like that in a downtrend oh my god so it is just showing flatness whereas the rsi is true obviously is true momentum stroke volume uh, calculation whereas this is just this is literally what it says on the tin slope calculations very very interesting so when we get a fast move into a new slope from there say for example the close of those candles or above the wicks to there it's going to turn red very interesting What's important though is it never it never repaints. That will not turn grey when you change through time frames. Whereas I'm not 100% sure this is uh, correct or doing the proper thing. Still a work in progress. Still like it a lot. A lot of work gone into that, obviously. And I really need to do some proper research on the thread, the original thread. But a nice gold move. Due to um, massive uh, downward momentum. I wonder what H4 was saying. 
didn't need to worry about H4 at that stage because um, you know because that could become a wick a massive hammer candle there but what I'm interested in obviously is these these things here just incredible time of day as well post uh, US session open um, but this video is all about how I analyze um, this thing compared to what I know it is probably one of the best indicators available on the internet. Okay guys, thanks for watching, have a good day.